Hey, this is Mike Dia down Pepper Lane, and let's do a living room corner vignette here, starting with a wall portrait. This is Thomas Kincaid. He's the painter of light, very popular as I was a young man growing up in the 80s and 90s, early 2000s. Uh, if you put like a gallery track light on your ceiling, it will, uh, the paintings will glow, like the windows will glow. That's why he's called the painter of light. It's really amazing. Uh, of course, he has originals and then he has um, prints and he got so popular that you could go into a shopping mall and there would be a Thomas Kincaid gallery. And you could go throughout the gallery and buy, you know, portraits or in limited editions or calendars or keychains or whatever. It became a huge dynasty. And then, you know, as tastes change and art trends change, he kind of fell out of fashion and became less popular. But I absolutely love the way you can just drift into this picture, this little country lane with a cozy cottage and drift off into another world for just a moment. And that's what I'm looking for in art. And I love countryside pastoral scenery. That's my favorite, really. So Thomas Kincaid, his art is collectible. Uh, and maybe not as much as it once was, but it still has a big audience. All right, let's zoom out here. And this is a beautiful library table that I got from a family friend. And it has all kinds of rich woods and inlays. And look at the detail on the legs. And I'll just show you these inlays here. And it's actually a library table, which means it has drawers on two sides. So two people could face each other and be working on a project. It's one of my best pieces, a, a real family treasure. Um, I did um, inherit from my family lots of these wooden ships that were uh, created, uh, very popular in the 60s and 70s. Um, my dad used to put together some of these ships from kits. And, this, and he would buy some, like this one, at nautical shops. And he lived on the beach as well and owned a boat. So I inherited some beautiful, lovely uh, tall ships. And so that's kind of the centerpiece for that corner. And then um, down below, I just have a nice tray, a beautiful tray there with a candle and some um, precious gemstones and uh, silk flowers. Just a little vignette for that corner. Um, this is a beautiful paperweight with an old building on it. I love architectural work. And just a reminder to like and subscribe and be a patron and really uh, give energy to my work and shop my store at downpeppertreelane.com. Uh, this is an incredible tray with a clipper ship that I just cherish and love. And then I have an antique gun there. And um, an antique is something over 100 years old. Okay, if it's less than that, it's vintage. So beautiful antique gun. It uses gunpowder. No, it's not loaded. No, no, no. It's just for show. Um, these are um, Swarovski crystals, this hummingbird. And this is one of the larger ones. Just incredible detail. Look at that. Look at all the color. And um, they're pricey and expensive and very collectible, and this is one of my rare treasures that I do display. Um, these are just some hand creams here if a guest needs them. And then I like to display books. I got this one to stand up, so that's good. America by the Sea. I love travel books. And this is just a little, um, little pouch of lavender to scent for the room. And... Um, I live by um, a lot of lavender fields in Ojai and Lompoc. Um, lavender's grown quite a lot. Uh, the silk ivy. always put greenery around all this hardwood to soften it up. Very beautiful there. And um, just a beautiful little plate with incredible detail on it. English rose. And there's some more precious stones there. Blue soda light. And 
this is one of those adult coloring books to relax you <laughs> if you want to sit down and do some coloring, uh, to have some beautiful design. And then um, it's real nice to have a live palm tree in your house, and you can just get them at like Home Depot in the nursery or the garden center. And look how lush and tropical and softening of the room that this is. And I just water it once a week. You want to make sure not to overwater them. And uh, it's a live palm tree, and I got it on sale. I just waited for a sale, and uh, it was like 30 bucks. You know, really beautiful piece. And then um, I do have a silk ficus over here on this side. I do mix in silk plants with live ones and some greenery because look at all the hardwoods everywhere, all that hard material with uh, the table, and you got to soften it up with some greenery. That's what I what you want to do, soft and hard textures. And then um, I found this really beautiful um, little boat and continuing with the nautical theme um, along the wall here. And then I can put little knickknacks and displays up there, like little thimbles. And I like this kind of architectural art, like old cities and buildings and faded frames and... Uh, uh, just gray skies. I like that kind of a um, little bit darker, moodier type of art. And then uh, once again, I live by the sea, so I have lots of nautical items, beautiful wood frame. Look at this lighthouse, spectacular, the crashing waves, the jagged rocks and the seagulls. Absolutely fantastic. And I will end up with the Thomas Kincaid. I strongly recommend you get a piece of his art for your collection to really warm up and make your space cozy. And um, he has some nice coffee table books and all kinds of things. You can really check into his collection. And I'm Mike D at down Pepper Tree Lane with this vignette. Uh, check out my website. I have um, all kinds of jewelry and vintage items and um, really cool items at downpeppertreelane.com. Check out my store. Thank you. Bye-bye.